Here is Ubaid bin Walid bin Samit. He says, we went uh, to the carter of Ansar in order to hear from them about the Prophet Sallallahu We thought that we should go and hear from them before they die, the Prophet's companion, companions. So he has an intention. He is going after the knowledge. He creates the occasion in order to reach to the knowledge, to the report. So here in this example exactly, he is a collector narrator. Now, narrator types, but this time in terms of transmitting the narration. We talked about the narrator types in terms of obtaining the narration, and now in terms of transmitting the narration. This is the second side, uh, which he uh, conveys the me message. The narrator conveys the message to the interlocutor. Here he can be sharer or distribu distributor. He can be sharer narrator or distributor narrator. And if we understood uh, the narrator types in terms of obtaining the narrator, narration, uh, we will understand here very easily because it uh, depends on it. Now, the first one, sharer narrator. A narrator who, on some occasions, shares with those surrounding him the report of an event or a discourse which he had obtained formerly. He shares the knowledge which he had obtained formerly with those around him on some occasions. So the people around him didn't come to him in order to hear from him. They are they are usually there and he shares with them his knowledge they uh, highly likely can be his son or his uh, or his daughter or her daughter the people around him which have which the occasion is already between them uh, in order to be together he shares with them share or narrate them for example in my example my grandfather was shader narrator for me, but uh, was shader narrator for me, and I was hearer narrator from him. Let's look to an example here. Yahya bin Hussein said, Once I heard my grandmother say, I performed the last pilgrimage in the company of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. He said a lot of things. Then I heard him say, if a black slave is appointed a commander over you, who leads you according to the book of Allah, then listen to him and obey him. Yahya bin Hussein here says, once I heard my grandmother. They are e each other. They are a relation between them. He is his relative, his grandmother. They live together they have already occasions uh, between them and once he heard uh, like I heard from uh, my grandfather he heard from her, uh, his grandmother she was one of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu she shared his knowledge uh, with his uh, uh, ch grandchild his child Yahya bin Hussein so there is a relation, already a relation between them. One of them, Yahya bin Hussein, is here in terms of obtaining the narration, but her grandmother is a sharer narrator in terms of transmitting the narration. Now let's look at to the distributor narrator. When we say distributor narrator, we are talking about a narrator who have gained the attention of the collector narrators in order to transmit to them his reports which he had obtained formerly. The distributor narrator, he, distrib he uh, narrates the narration 
uh, to the collector narrators. The collector narrators came to him, uh, comes to him in order to listen to him, listen to him about his reports. So if a narrator could gain the attention of the collector narrators and uh, could narrate them, he becomes uh, a distributor narrator. For example, my grandfather, after that student came to him, or when he was narrating to that student, he was distri a distributor narrator. Because uh, a narrator, he cannot be a distributor narrator by himself. Only when the collector narrators come to him, he uh, began uh, become uh, distributor narrator. If he could not gain the attention of the students uh, and died uh, without uh, narrating the collector narrators, only narrating to those around him, he remains sharer narrator. So distributor narrator is high level according sharer narrator. How a narrator can be distributor narrator when he leaves too much, when he uh, leaves too much uh, according his uh, generation. If he remains to the next generation, the next generation, generation wants to hear from the elder one. The more the narrator is elder, they are looking for him and it's natural uh, attempt. So distributor narrator, the one who gained the attention of the collector narrators. The collector narrators doesn't go to the young narrator. They prefer the elder one. Uh, especially in hadith narration, they go to the elder one in order to be here, to, do, to be closer to the source. And this is understandable uh, choice. So distributor narrator is important, a narrator who have gained the attention of the collector narrators in order to, to transmit to them his reports which he had obtained formerly. And it is regardless of his kind, of his type in terms of obtaining the narration. The narrator can be distributor narrator uh, while he is hearer narrator in terms of obtaining the narration or while he is uh, witness narrator in terms of obtaining the narration. Conveying the message is, the pen, uh, is uh, free from receiving the message. So we can uh, put, uh, first of all let's look at an example here and then look at the models. Narrated Ibn Juraj I heard Nafi saying, Ibn Umar said, the Prophet forbade that a man should make another man to get up to sit in his place. I said to Nafi, is it for Juma prayer only? He replied, for Juma prayer and any other prayer. Here is Ibn Juraj. He is not usually with Nafi. He came to Nafia in order to hear from him. Ibn Juraj, a collector narrator, when you look at his life, you can uh, notice that he heard from many scholars like Ibn Nafia. He went to many scholars like Nafia. He collected the narration from them. And when uh, Ibn Juraj has no, he's not a rel relative of Nafia, he is not his son, he is not his slave or freed slave. There is no a natural relation between them. He came to him. He is, is his student. He came to him in order to hear from him and uh, stayed for a while, uh, sufficient to hear from him, and then went to the others. So Ibn Juraj is collector narration, narrator. Nafi here is distributor narrator. Uh, yes. And uh, this is the example of uh, collector narrators. Now we can uh, put the models of the narrators in terms of obtaining 
and transmitting the narration. The first one, witness sharer. The second, witness distributor. The third, hearer sharer. The fourth, hearer distributor. The fifth one, collector sharer narrator. And the last one, the sixth one, collector distributor. Witness sharer narrator and narrator, we will combine the definitions now. Uh, at both sides, receiving side and conveying side. The first witness sharer, a narrator who on some occasions shares the reports of an event or a discourse which he observed from the source with those around him. He shares the report with those around him. He is sharer narrator. He could not gain uh, the attention of collector narrator and he is witness at the same time he witness the source about his action or about his discourse and he shares uh, his knowledge with those around him uh, he, because he couldn't find uh, the collector narrators uh, and he shared them uh, he shared his reports with uh, those around him. He is witness, sharer, narrator. You can, many of the companions of the Prophet وسلم, they are witness, sharer, narrator. Because at that time, at the time of the companions of the Allahu Majma'in, there was no students going after uh, the hadith. There was some exceptions, uh, of course, but uh, there was not a mass, massive uh, collector narrations. Like Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu, he was a sharer narrator when he was narrating to Ibn Umar or when he was narrating to his son uh, Salim, he shared his knowledge with them uh, and he was witness, witness sharer. Witness sharer narrator here, uh, the source side, he is in con contact with the source and uh, his uh, interlocutor is hearer narrators and now witness distributor narrator a narrator who found an opportunity to share an event or a discourse which he observed from the source with collector narrators rather than those around him he is witness uh, in, a, in terms of obtaining the hadith but he is distributor in terms of transmitting the hadith he found an opportunity to share an event or discourse which he observed from the source uh, with collector narrators rather than those around him actually uh, in hadith uh, science it's uh, difficult to find witness distributor narrator they are a few, uh, you cannot find too many uh, witness distributor narrator because there was not uh, many collector narrators at that period. Here witness distributor narrator and he is in contact with the source at the source side and in the interlocutor side his interlocutor he conveys the message the collector narrators. Now here sharer narrator, a narrator, we are talking about a narrator who on some occasions shares the reports which he on some occasions obtained formerly. He on some occasions heard the report of the event in terms of obtaining and on some occasions shared the report uh, with those around him. He couldn't gain the attention of collector narrators. Here is here sharer narrator. Here a sharer narrator at the source side uh, he takes the hadith from the sharer narrator uh, and he uh, conveys the hadith to the hearer narrator like, him, like himself at the interlocutor side. 
Now, here distributor narrator, a narrator who found an opportunity to share the reports which he on some occasions obtained formerly with collector narrators rather than those around him. This narrator at the side, at the receiving side, he is here. He hears on some occasions, but at the side of transmitting the hadith, 